Cecil Global and African Diaspora News Channel presents the Ghana Luxury Property Tour. It will be a eight day tour coming to you starting October 1 through October 8, 2023. Now you enjoy a five-star stay at a hotel, the finest properties in Ghana. You connect with industry professionals. You will also visit cultural landmarks, have a meet and greet with the team and so much more. Make sure that you go to the description box below and hit that link, just to sign up. So we got our brother once again, Councilman Eric Mays. He had an issue with one of the council members, uh, Becky, for, to be exact, saying that he was gaslighting. He didn't take too uh, well to hearing that type of terminology directed at him. Let's roll that. Order. What is your point? Are you telling me or chastising me for using a privileged motion? Is you um, fussing me out for using a privileged motion? Is that what you call yourself doing? What did you That's just say? What did you say? You're not going to allow me to do what? I mean, you laughing. I'm trying to hear what you're saying. Okay, I think that you can hear me just fine, but for the record, I said I will not allow you to gaslight this community. Gaslight? Or, yes, sir. I suggest you look it up. We will continue with this appeal. We'll deal with this after the appeal. Watch yourself. As a reminder on the appeal. Because I can use that. Excuse me, Mr. Mays, you are out of order. When you dog me out and interrupt me and tell me I'm a gaslighter, I'm thinking that's some type of arsonist. And when I talk back to you, because I didn't call you no name or use no adjective, but I'm going to look up some and I'm going to remind you of what you call me sitting in that chair. Yeah, when you talk about me, you talk about folk. Gaslighting. Don't use no more adjectives for me. You can shake your head all you want. You can turn red all you want. Leave me alone. And how dare you talk to me like that? You don't know me. Talking about you gaslight. Who are you to judge me? On me with some adjectives, but you had decorum when you sit in that seat you're high to a high level of standards and decorum I can talk about you to the cows come home how dare you you don't know me you didn't know my daddy you didn't know my mama and you don't know me I don't even hardly talk to you point of order what's your point Mr. May stated that it's about to get funky in here, and I don't know what that what he's referring to. Point of information. What's your point? Do you want me to tell you? Gaslighting and adjectives, it's going to get funky in here because I'm going to use a bunch of adjectives. Okay. I'm sitting here burnt to a crisp, and you think it's funny. You think it's cavalier. You wasted all that time to get two votes and you talking about me gaslighting something. I don't like the adjectives. Gaslighting. Those are catch words. To call me a fool. Or, or to say something about somebody black if you set up in that seat. I ain't buying it. I don't appreciate it. Business. I got a son older than you. Who do you think you disrespect and talking about gaslight? I would tell y'all what, I, I love brother Eric Mays. I love that brother, he don't put up with nothing. You know, when he say, you, you better leave me alone, <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> because I haven't heard that leave me alone in a long time since, since Port Arthur. Gaslighting. Don't use no more adjectives for me. You can shake your head all you want. You can turn red all you want. Leave me alone. And shout out to everybody in Port Arthur, Texas, where I was born and raised. Um, that's something we used to use all, all the time over there. But Brother Eric May said you're not going to be using no words at him. He got some, some choice words for you as well. Now, I will say this. We need more politicians like our brother Eric Mays to be representing us um, all over the country. What if we had um, a bunch of Eric Mays in a Congressional Black Caucus? What if we had that? Just think about that. We would actually get somewhere as a people if we had that. But it makes sure it's a resume for most black politicians to be sellouts, bootlicks, and raccoons. That's really the resume uh, that they have to put on there to get elected by the Democrat Party. Because you know the Democrat Party don't want a Eric Mays uh, being in Congress because, oh my God, he may say something that we don't like. 
we as black people need to start voting for more brothers and sisters like Eric Mays, who would tell these folks uh, what to do, tell these people about themselves, etc. cetera. And, 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 and he needs to keep doing that. I support him. We have been having too many sellouts and this is why our community is the way it's, it is now. It's because we have all the Sheila Jackson Lees and, and Al Greens and all the different people that want TV time and, 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 and showing themselves but they won't do nothing for black folk. Not a thing. And he won't call out other black folks that's doing wrong either unless uh, a white mommy and daddy in the Democrat party is willing to say, yeah, you can go ahead and call them out. Like, it, it, it's, it's ridiculous. But other groups of people, when they have a caucus or whatever, they fight for their people. We are the only group that has that. We got a boule caucus. We don't have a black caucus. So, you know, if I had to be a politician, that's if I had to ever do that, I'd be like Brother Eric Mays. Don't, don't you talk to me like that because I, I'm always going to say something back to you. Let's just stick to the business at hand and not be saying things like that. But you know how them folks are. They can't stand. We talk to them like that. Oh, it run through them when black folks talk to them like that. And I love it. I love every minute of it. So y'all in Flint, y'all keep voting for uh, Councilman Mays. He, 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 he the brother that you need. But y'all let me know what y'all think about, you know, our, our brother here and, and, it, and the importance of having some politicians that actually will represent us and fight for us at the same time. Because really that's what our brothers and sisters envisioned um, during the time of the civil rights movement is we have politicians, they'll be like brother Eric Mays, not a, a bootlick and sellout.